What would you personally do if you found out your parents went behind your back, stole your credit card, maxed it out on a very expensive 17-day vacation to Europe, which totaled roughly $20,000, and then you found out, oh, the vacation isn't even for them. It's for my sister, who, by the way, I cannot stand. I'm not gonna let this happen. I'm going to actually report it to my credit card that I wasn't the one that made this transaction. And you know what? I'm going to press charges. I've done a lot for my parents. I know how this makes me sound, but I'm not denying that they've done a lot for me too. So I never really cared how they treated me and did everything I could for them and have continued to try to make their lives even better. But this time, I think my parents, especially my mother, has crossed the line. And all of this is because of my sister, whom I'm not even spoken to for the past two years. I guess it's a bit confusing without any context, so let me just provide you with some. Hi, I'm Ella. I live a happy life working and living alone. My parents don't live extremely far from me, but I rarely visit them. I take care of them and their needs, but I don't go and visit quite often. That's because of my sister Jenna. She's the reason my relationship with my mother and dad is the way that it is. She's always been the golden child for them, and because of her, I rarely visit. Since childhood, it was clear to me that my parents liked Jen just a little more than me. Honestly, I'm being kind uh, by even comparing because that wasn't a comparison. My parents barely cared about me when it came to Jen. I'm telling you. They treated her like some sort of a superior being. I don't know, like God made her for them and told them to take her special care while ignoring me. Because that's what they did. <laughs> I do sound a bit salty here because of the recent event, but I don't really care that much because no one really cared for me growing up. That's because she was also my little sister and I loved her very much. So, My parents giving her attention was not really a big deal at the time. I knew that even if they showed it less, they still loved me and cared about me, so I never really complained about it very much. When I tell you Jin was really just uh, straight up pampered growing up, and I'm barely even scratching the surface, our parents barely let her do anything and gave her everything she ever wanted. In the present, uh, this has really led to her becoming a terrible person. So anyone planning to do that to their kid, please don't. They grow up to be miserable and don't listen to anyone. As Jin grew up a little, she started showing all these signs of the person that she was going to become later on. She was really bossy and refused to do anything she didn't feel like doing. Also, whatever she had said to be done or there would be really bad consequences if it wasn't. By that, I mean she would cry and scream at our parents and I would get punished. She was the definition of a spoiled, rotten child. I tried my best to stop her from uh, turning into that type of person, but she did not listen to me. Because of how our parents raised her, she never valued me or thought of me as her older sister, and spoke to me when she wanted something from me. Also, the other reason she probably disliked me was that I was better than her at almost everything. From studies to sports to anything else, I was better than her and got more attention outside. I don't know, maybe it was like the lack of attention at home that made me try so hard at everything, but I tried my best to do well in absolutely everything. Not that I was like trying, but even after that I could not get my parents' attention, which was a bit alarming. All they cared about was my sister and I got used to it. I also got used to her behavior at her rude ways of talking to me. Sometimes I felt that she was going too far, but I loved her, so I just took it silently. Honestly, if I had known how she was going to turn out, I would have definitely tried harder to make her a better person and would have convinced our parents to stop pampering her this way. But I didn't care. And my love for her blinded me. Even when she only used me, I kept making excuses for her, saying that she means well. <laughs> well, let's jump ahead several years. And by this time, I had started working a great job while my sister had become a college dropout, trying to start a business or anything else to just make some money. The problem Jen had, and still probably has, is that she's too lazy to do anything. She does not commit to something and does not even work hard for it. 
She wants everything as soon as she wishes for it, and I wonder who taught her that. Now, as soon as I started earning, well, I started taking care of my parents. No matter how my childhood went, they're still responsible for getting me where I was, and I was sure my sister was not going to look after them, and I slowly just started paying all their bills, and even started giving them money for everything and anything that they wanted. I also helped out my sister from time to time. I knew that Jen did not work and was living on the money our parents gave her every month, so I helped her whenever I could. I really wanted her to succeed in whatever she did, but she never would listen to me. She dropped out and started wasting her time by getting rich with quick things. She even blew a big chunk of our parents' savings, opening up some business. But guess who still got more attention? If, well, you thought her. Yes, obviously, Jen. About three years ago, Jen came up to me asking me to help her. See, she needed a very good amount of money. Yeah, a bunch. And I knew that trusting her was going to be a gigantic mistake. So, right at that point, I was saving money for something and I considered saying no. But then Jen promised to just return it within a few short months. I had no choice but to help. <laughs> but about six months later, she refused to even entertain the idea of returning my money. I knew that she uh, had enough of the money, and I was only asking for less than half the amount that I gave her because, to be honest with you guys, I really needed it. Like, really, really, really needed it. I told her it was important, but she just told me that she did not care. So I went to my parents and you know what they did? Instead of teaching Jen a lesson, they told me that I was being greedy with my family and asked me to just forget about the money. They told me that they never cared no matter how much money both me and my sister used from them. I was heartbroken and asked them if they were really going to help me and when they said that I should just let it go, I did. You know, Honestly, if I was thinking about it at that point, I knew I wasn't getting the money back, so the only thing I asked was for an apology from my sister. My parents thought that was fair, but when she outright refused, they told me they could not do anything. She did not even apologize to me, and that's how much she cared about me. So, at that point, I decided to just cut her off from my life. She had only used me and did not care about me anyway, so I did myself a favor. Our parents were vehemently against it and tried to force me to forgive her, but I stood my ground and after a few months they finally gave up. I wasn't mad at my parents, but I stopped visiting them so much because my sister would also be there a lot and I didn't want to see her. You know, since then, I've not even spoken to her. But like I've already mentioned, I've taken good care of my parents, that's for sure, even though they still only care about her. Now that you understand everything, let me tell you what they did. So, almost uh, a week ago now, my mom calls me and asks me to meet her, saying that she needs to ask me something and my parents rarely ask me anything. So obviously, I just went immediately. So, there she told me that she wants me to pay for a quite expensive vacation that she wants to take for her birthday, which is over um, in a month. She told me she wants to go to Europe with Dad. Well, I was surprised because they'd never ever go and take a vacation like this. And it was expensive, so I asked them to give me a day to think about it, please. You know, since my parents rarely take vacations, and Mom asked of it from me as a gift, I could not really say no. So I told them I was going to send them the money in just a few short weeks. Mom... She was very happy, and she even thanked me. It made me very happy to be able to give back to my parents like that, and I loved making them happy. I mean, I really did. But what I learned later completely destroyed that feeling. I mean, it was just gone. Being uh, fully uh, honest with you guys, I trusted my parents, especially my mom, so much that I did not even doubt her about the holiday. <laughs> Since I had no connection with my sister, I did not think that she could be involved in any shape or form or way. Oh, but how wrong was I? So, after I stopped speaking to her, my sister did try to contact me a few times. Most of them uh, were through our parents. But I rejected all of it, as I had no intention of making up with her. 
About a month ago, she had tried to contact me directly, but I just ignored her and forgot about it. Well, then yesterday, a few days after my mom asked me for money for a vacation, my aunt calls me, asking me if I was coming to visit her with my parents. I told her I have no idea what she's talking about, and she told me that for her birthday, my mom and dad were going to visit her as she lived in the town where my mom was born in. She told me since Jen was going on a vacation, she was hoping I was going to come. What? I told her I was busy with work and asked her if she knew where Jen was going. Then she told me that Jen was going to Europe. I think you understand what I pieced out after this conversation. So, My parents have just lied to me to my face and went to spend over $20,000 on my sister just so she can have a good old time. The same person whom I've cut off because of how terrible her behavior is. Someone I don't want in my life at all. My parents are trying to trick me into sending her on some luxurious vacation. Guys, I got so heartbroken after this, I've not even confronted them. I've always understood and never complained about how they treated me. Even though sometimes it really hurt to always be treated as secondary, I never complained. I did everything they wanted me to try to do, and I tried my hardest to be the best daughter. I take good care of them. I try to pay for everything so they can have a stress-free life. I even bought a house for them. But even after everything, they did not refuse to just turn their back on me when it came to making my sister happy. So you guys tell me, what should I do now? Update number one, it's been just a few days and things have gotten worse. Hey guys, if your memory is good, you might uh, remember me telling you that my parents would refuse to believe that they made a mistake. And they did exactly that. But although I was expecting that, I also learned something that made me mad so badly that I just came back home after screaming at my parents, so let me explain. So at first, I was very confused about what I should do. I didn't want to confront my parents because I already knew the outcome. The only person they would ever blame was me, so there was really no reason to even try. I already knew that they were going to uh, say all sorts of stuff, and there was absolutely no way that they would ever blame my sister for anything. Instead of that, it was way more possible that they would just try to emotionally blackmail me into doing it. I mean, if they really cared about me, they would have never done this in the first place, right? So you can understand why I was a little hesitant towards the idea of confronting them. Guys, what I was actually planning was just to tell them that I had an extra expense or lost some money on something and I couldn't pay. Uh, that way, I would not have to deal with any family drama. I just wanted to avoid everything, even if it meant letting my parents get away with lying to me. But reading your suggestions made me realize that I could not just let them go this easily. They had already broken my heart and my trust, and I needed to tell them how I felt about all this. So, after about two days, I decided that confronting them was the best idea. Also, for the people asking me to contact my sister, I'm not going to do that. I know that she's involved and she's the person who asked mom to do this for me, but I don't want anything with her. See, I accept things like that from Jen, but not from my parents, who I love and care about. So yesterday, I visited my parents and initially they were very happy with me. But as soon as I uh, told them about the call from my aunt, their expressions changed. Also, I really believe that after I told them that they would come out with the truth, but they still tried to hide it. Mom said that my aunt was under the impression that she was going to go there as that was the first plan. Then they just forgot to tell her that it changed. Then I started asking mom where she was going and what they were planning on seeing. Obviously, she starts fumbling her words. And then I told her I already knew what they've done. I was very, very upset with them and told them that after everything I've done, I could not believe that they were trying to trick me into paying for her. I told them that they knew everything that happened between us and that I didn't even want to see her face. So, I then asked them how could they do this. Do you know what their answer was? They literally looked me in the eyes and told me that they had no other choice as Jen really needed that vacation. Guys, they were talking about her vacation like it was some serious surgery without which she was not going to survive without it. I told them it was just a vacation and it was not important. She could have worked hard and saved money to get it. 
They told me that she was working hard on her next project and simply needed this vacation to shake off stress. I explained to them that she did nothing but stay at home, so she had no reason for stress. They just told me that I was not going to understand. Well, obviously, this made me so upset. I was trying to stay calm, but what I found out next really grinded my gears. I guess I should explain something first. So, my parents had a home, and they asked me if I could buy them a big house to move into in a few years. Uh, well, that was a while ago. I saved up some money and then bought them a house for which I'm paying the mortgage. I wanted to move into the house they left, but they sold it to pay some loans that they had taken years ago. I believe them, because why would they go and lie about it? Well, that's the question of the century, but it turns out all that was just BS. My parents didn't really sell the house and gave it to my sister instead. Mom accidentally told me that she was tired of living in the old house and wanted to go out somewhere far away. So, as you can imagine, that made me very angry. I got so angry that I didn't even argue. I just asked them if they gave the house to my sister and they said yes. After that, I said that I wasn't going to pay for the vacation and left. I've not picked up their calls because I don't want to talk to them. Update number two. Hey guys, it's me, so get this. It's been over a week since my last update, and for a moment, I genuinely thought that for the very first time in my life, my parents have changed. They made me believe that they had finally chosen me over my sister. But as soon as I proceeded uh, to process what happened, they pulled the rug out from under me. It was a rug pool. Let me explain. A day after my last update, I finally took my parents' phone. And they were not just calling to apologize or anything. All they wanted to ask was whether I had made up my mind to help my sister or not. <laughs> yeah. So I told them. What they had done to me was horrible. And they had broken my heart. And I told them I wasn't going to help them no matter what. The next day, Dad called and tried to blackmail me emotionally, of course. Into paying for the vacation. I told him that he was also my dad and asked him how he could not understand what I was going through. I asked him how he did not feel bad about everything that they had done to me, and he then told me that he had not done anything to hurt me. You know what? I told him lying to me to make me pay for a person whom I want nothing to do with, that's not a good thing, man. It's not something a loved one does either. He then explained that if they had told the truth, I never would have agreed to help, so they had to do this for her. I told him why didn't he do this for me, and he said I was already happy that she was suffering and they felt that they needed to help her more. So I told him, Ah, oh, it's been like that my whole life. I also told him that I wanted to move into her old house, and instead of giving it to me, they lied about selling it and gave it to my sister, who had not bought them anything and has only caused them loss. Suffer! Well, that's when Dad told me, oh, man. Uh, he said that he had no idea I wanted the house, which I guess is true, as I hadn't verbally told my parents that I wanted to move in, but they didn't even think of me. That's the worst part. He said that he believed I was very happy where I lived and did not want to move and that the sister of mine needed it more. Talking to him just made me even more mad. So I just cut the call and that night, mother called and told me that she had enough and wanted me to send the money now. Well, I told her if she was going to keep calling and trying to threaten me to pay, then I was just going to block her. She then did something that broke me. She then gave me a choice to either pay or get kicked out from the family tree. She gave me the night to think it over. The fact that she even said this to me made me even more mad and I genuinely felt like just breaking down and crying. I thought about it, and since they were willing to go this far for my sister, you know what? I thought that I should do the same for myself. The next day, I called them and told them that I did not care what they did. I was not going to pay. And if they wanted me to just, um, you know, get off on that hill, I would with no regret. Then my mom cut the call and for a few days I did not hear from them. I was fully ready to just let them be for a few months because I was really mad. Uh, 
but after a few days, yesterday, really, my parents came to visit. I was very surprised, and when they apologized, it made me actually feel pretty happy, if I'm being honest with you. See, it took me a little bit of time to believe it, as they had really chosen me over my sister for the first time in my life. They told me that they had realized their mistake and genuinely apologized. I was so happy, I immediately forgave them and was very happy. After a while, Mom said she needed my phone and my credit card for something, and I was so happy, I did not doubt what she was doing. I thought she wanted to pay for something, which she did without asking us. I did not care. A few hours after they left, I was still very happy. I could not wait to write an update and tell you guys. But then, I checked my phone and found out that Mom had used my credit card to pay for my sister's vacation just like that. I couldn't believe it. It genuinely broke my heart into a million and one pieces, and I called Mom and she told me that everything she told me was just fake and needed to let it go. She told me my sister needed this, and I cut the call and have been thinking ever since. You know, I'm done playing that kind and understanding daughter to my parents, and I'm planning on doing something. I think it's time to let go of them. Update number three. It's been several months, and this is the final update. Hey guys, so I apologize for doing this so late. A lot has happened, <laughs> so let me just get into it. After my last update, I was so mad that I started planning how to take revenge from my sister and parents. I'd already made the decision that I was going to cut them off just like her, but I didn't want to just do that, right? Then the next day, Jen texted me gloating about winning once again. She even sent me an emoji of an airplane and a money sign. <laughs> she was blatantly laughing at me since I had been forced to pay for her vacation. I don't know why she thought that I was going to just cancel it. Well, I might have, but she, she's confident I'm not. Then I acted like I lost the game and did not show her any intention of doing anything to sabotage her holiday. After that, I waited. I waited, and I waited. I waited to the last day and then canceled the purchase, claiming it was fraud. This was just one day before she was supposed to leave for the holiday. Now, I did not see this, but I've been told that this happened. So, my parents and cousins went to drop her off at the airport. But there she found out that her vacation was canceled, and before that, Jen created a huge fuss, only to realize her holiday had been canceled, so she was very embarrassed. She then screamed at our parents and then broke down crying. Oh, obviously my parents were blaming me, and this time they were right in doing so. My mom called me and just told me that I was not their daughter anymore. I didn't even respond, I just cut the call. That's because I've already decided to cut them off myself before doing any of this. But guys, let's go ahead and jump to two months later. My mom. She calls me to ask me why I had not been paying the mortgage and their bills and why I had not been sending them monthly money. She acted like nothing happened just two short months ago, so I told her. Mom, I have no reason to pay you anymore. I said I was not their daughter anymore and did not owe them a thing. After that, I cut the call and blocked them both and cut them both off, so guys... I spent the money that I got refunded on my own vacation to Europe, and I sent them photos to my sister. <laughs> I didn't hear about it from any of them for a few months and was considering writing this update. But then just two weeks ago, unexpectedly, my parents showed up at my place begging for my help. They told me they had lost the house and had moved back into a tiny home. A month after that, they threw Jen out because she refused to work and used a lot of money. So they cut off her too. My parents begged me to help them and take them back and they said that they've made a grave mistake. I told them I already made a mistake before and then I kicked them out. A few days later, Jen called too saying she needs money from me and I just laughed and laughed and laughed. And then I blocked her. And that's it. See ya.